Hey, in this video, I want to go over quickly on my first impressions on the Make AI Agent feature. Well, second second impressions because I got this a few days ago. I'm on the startup plan, so I, I'm not sure why I got access to it, but I got it. Some people even on the paid plans don't have it, so lucky for me. Anyway, and then after that, I'm going to build out a quick block writing agent just to show you guys a quick demo about how, how to use this feature. Okay, so uh, I think first things first, I want to go over a quick diagram okay, how ai agents usually works is okay this is the ai agent ai agent. and then you give the ai agent tools so this tool can be like you know search a google sheet this tool can be search your files and then this tool can be um write the blog post or some something like that okay and then you'll give it an input and then it will produce an output after it has processed uh, using all these different tools. Okay, this, if you look at this uh, diagram, this looks pretty similar to what a AI agent flow would look like in any end. But this is not how it looks like in Make. And I got confused when I first tried it a few days ago. So I'm pretty confident this is also going to trip people up. Okay, so in Make, each tool right here is not like a, a node or not a module. Each tool is a scenario itself. So you have to build out this uh, tool. So that's why it's, it's a bit confusing. Okay, then once you build out this, this tool, each tool will have to like take in a sen uh, scenario input and then produce a scenario output. So, so that's why it's a little bit confusing. Okay, anyway, that's done. Now let's go inside here. So if you go over to the make dashboard, you'll see on the left uh, side panel, if you have access to it, the AI agents uh, feature will be here. Just click on it, you'll be brought to this page. And then in this case, on the top right, you just cr start creating an agent. So right here you have connection. So this connection is just uh, a connection to a large language model. So it can be any one of these, OpenAI, X, Tropic Cloud, whichever, whatever. In my case, I already have uh, OpenAI, so I'm using OpenAI. So after that, then you gotta name it, name the agent something. So in my case, it was the block writing agent, like that. Model, uh, I'm just gonna select GPT-40, and you gotta give it a quick system prompt. So I, I really did it, I'm not gonna do it. So you write, you, you just like can write, you are an agent who blah, 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 etc., etc. Okay, but I'm gonna show you like, right now what I gave, the disc, what I gave my previous one. So this one, so I said, you are an AI agent whose main goal is to research topics from a given keyword via the web and write blog posts according to the company's writing guide. Very simple, okay, that's all. So in this case, so the writing guide is actually here. I create one, I just created a sample, generated one with uh, ChatGPT, a quick one. This isn't even real, but it's, 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 it's all right, gets the job done. And go back to make. So now once we have, created the AI agent, I want to start creating the tools. So if you think through this logically, I want I wanted to create a blog post. What do I need? Given the instructions, I just gave it. So I wanted to research the topics. So in my case, we'll be researching the topics with perplexity, search the keyword. And after that, I want it to refer to the writing guide. And then after that, I want it to write the blog post. So essentially we need three different tools. So we go over to the scenarios. So remember I mentioned tools are scenarios, scenarios are tools. And then we go, I created a folder called AI agent tools. And in the AI agent tools, I have these three different uh, scenarios, which are the tools. So the first one, which is research the target keyword right here. Oh, okay, let's go into it. I'm this slow. Okay, anyway, right here, you build out this tool as like any other scenario, very it's the same essentially. One big difference is right here, the scenario inputs and outputs. So if you notice, if you click, it's just next to the save button. You need to give it a input, which will come from, you know, this target keyword variable will come technically from the Google Sheets, right? So you click add item, but I already done it. So I'll show you what it looks like. You'll give it a name, just a target, just a, a, a very simple variable name, which is target keyword. And you give it a description, the main target keyword to research. Very simple. After which you have to create a scenario output, which is in this case, so what is this tool slash scenario is gonna output? The research findings from perplexity, right? So created this, just name it research findings and just give it a quick description, returns research findings from the web on the target keyword. Very simple. Now once those two is done, 
you then start to create the actual uh, scenario. So you add the perplexity AI model, module, sorry. And then you go over just the standard stuff, select a model, select a Sona, you give it a system prompt, and then you go over, create a user prompt. So usually when you create a user prompt for, you know, for like chat completion modules like this, you would, you know, write the normal prompt and then you can like map different variables from the previous modules. But in this case, you'll notice, you know, there's, there's nothing, then there's no previous module. So the only thing you have is the input scenario, which is the target keyword from the Google Sheets, right? So that would be, yeah, that would be from over here. So to, to get access to it, you know, you don't usually click the star and then you can see from previous models, right? No. You have to go, you have to just click this, click click whatever empty space here. You go over to this, what is this? Yeah, custom and system variables. So then you'll see the target keyword. Very important. But one quick tip you will notice if you create, if you create the scenario, you first create the scenario, you have to actually save uh, this scenario first, refresh, and then you get to see the scenario inputs. If not, it won't appear. That's the only thing that I don't really like about this. But anyway, small little uh, roadblock can be it's easily overcome. And then once that is done, this uh, module, this perplexity module is going to output something, right? Like content. And then you want to receive it through the scenarios. So you, you can just, it will just appear out like, yeah, right here, scenarios. You have to use this because this will be outputting the input from this. It's a bit confusing, but you get, you get the idea. So inside the scenario, the scenarios module, you just want to map it to the output of, perplex, of this perplexity module, which I mean, I, haven't, I didn't run it yet, so... Yeah, so but from what I recall is under choices and then message and then content. So that's why I put it here. Right? So that's done. So this is one tool that's completed. That's it. You can you can exit out of it already. Next would be to check the writing guide. So I wanna create a check writing guide. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So right now we'll go over the same thing as just before. We have to to the uh, scenario inputs, but you've noticed this in this case, there's no scenario inputs because I, I'm just uh, getting it from the Google Docs. I'm just getting the content from the Google Docs, but there is always going to be a scenario output, which is the writing guide. So the first module will be to get the content of a Google Docs. So you just go over the usual setup, you know, uh, create your connection and then select the document where the Google Docs, the Google Docs is. So in my case would be under testing and then blog post writing. And you create the scenarios module and then as usual you want it to output also the text content so in this case would be right here text content all right then that is done this will output the contents of this uh, writing guide done now the last part will be writing the blog post so slow okay anyway same thing writing the blog post now this is a check completion window. So this check completion, uh, this OpenAI uh, check completion module has to take in the input. So you there is going to be a scenario in input. So in this case, the scenario input is going to be a little bit, uh, we're going to be a bit more. It's got to, got to take in the research findings. It got to refer to the writing guide and it's also got to take in the target keyword. So all this needs to, all this scenario inputs needs to be created. Each one will be, has to be given a name, has to be given a description like right here, all this same thing, very simple descriptions. And then go over and put it through the prompt as usual. Select your model. I'm not sure why is this so slow for me. I think I should upgrade to a, a new Mac or something. Okay. Anyway, you give it a system prompt, a very simple, you are expert block writer, and then you give it the, the usual user prompt. So as you remember before, usually when you do this in a normal scenario, you have to map the different variables from a previous model, but there isn't. So all these are scenario inputs. So given the target keyword and the research findings from perplexity, you are tasked to write a 1000 blog post that is well-structured with relevant H2s rules. Always refer to the writing guide before writing a single word. Okay, so that's done. That will do this little magic shit. And then it will send over its output to the scenario which is here so you always have to give it the output of the previous module in this case would also be in choices message content which is right there so that is done the tools are are completed so now the next task is to assign these tools to the ai agent so how you do that is actually go back to the ai agents we're having a bit of flu you go over to the uh, ai agent that you created at, in the first step and then you click configure 
So right here, I mean, for now you can see that I've uh, actually attached or added a system tool. So what a system tool is, is a default tool that this AI agent will have no matter which scenario it you, you use it in. Okay, so all right, you go into add and go, even to, go over to the AI agent tools. You'll see I added this check writing guide because no matter which scenario uh, this AI agent is going to be in, I always want it to have access to the check writing guide tool. This block, this write, write blog post and research target keyword, uh, I want this to be on a case by case basis. So that's why I didn't include it. So anyway, once you add, once you edit it in, you can edit the description. So yeah, for all, for all these different, for all these tools and agents, make wants you to actually write a description to give it a little bit more context. So the output is a little bit more predictable and accurate. So that's what you do on this end. You know, you only add the system tools right here. And then after that, you can go over to the AI agent settings. You know, you give it, you'll see the name, the model that you selected, the max output tokens, and then the recursion limit. So the recursion limit, if I'm not mistaken, is actually to prevent like infinite loops. So you don't want it to all of a sudden like consume all your make, make operations. That would be insane. And then the iterations from the history count would be basically your memory or the context window, more or less. All right, you can leave all this as default. Because these are all the default settings. So once that is done, you go over back. Now you actually create your your normal workflow. So the block write, writing scenario. So in this case, I go on the test builds. It will be here. Check Google Sheets and then block writing agent. I'll open it up. All right. So I only have three modules here. So the first step is always to search the to search the Google Sheet rows. So this would be searching this block content calendar. It's a very simple one I just created. So there are only two columns, uh, target keyword, post content. So I just I just put it two, two simple target keywords here and then post content. So how I want this to work is, it's gonna search the road, search uh, the block content calendar, the Google sheet. If the post, if the column B is empty, then it will start to process this because yeah, I mean, I, I don't want it to like rewrite a blog post when there's already one written. So that's the filter is going to be here. Next, after you have done this, you want to create a make AI agent module. So this is where you actually create the AI agent. So in this case, you just search for make AI agent. It will appear up. Okay. Once you're inside, now you'll be able to select the AI agent. So for me, I only have one. Okay, but if you have multiple, then you can just select the one that you want. Then it will have access to the agent level tools. So remember just now when we set it up, we always have the check writing guide. Uh, tool right here and then the additional tools this is where you can add on a case by case basis so add the different tools that you want so for this particular example I added the research target keyword and then the write the blog post tool so all this you can just leave it for well, the purpose of this uh, video is out of scope and then you give it the uh, chat you, you give it the, the prompt you give the AI agent the prompt which is also pretty similar to what the chat is in NMN so it's a very simple one I gave it your task is to write a blog post based after performing deep research. Yeah, what, what's wrong with this English? Your task is to write a blog post based or based on a target keyword after performing deep research. Oh, so wait, no, oh, sorry. Your task is to write a blog post based or oh, write a blog post after, after my English, after performing deep research on a given keyword across the web. Okay. And you give it the target keyword. So the target keyword will come from the Google Sheets. So after that is done, you continue scenario when uh, agent is working. No. So you can just read what it, what it means here. Yes, it's recommended if your agent will take three minutes or more. Um, no, no, if you want to wait till the agent finish. This process is only going to take a few seconds. So we're going to put it as no. Oh shit, got to save. All right. So once, once that is done, it would then update output of this make AI agent as uh, the response in column B, which is essentially the blog post. So if you see now, block, the block, the post content column is empty, right? For best.food for Shiba. So it's going to process this keyword first. It's going to go over here. Oh, I forgot to mention one important thing. Okay, so go over to the scenarios. I'm going to save changes first. This is very important. If not, this thing's not going to work. 
all your AI, all your tools, your scenario search tools have to be set on demand and active. If not, it, the AI agent will not have access to it. So it can't be set to the polling or in intervals. It always has to be set on demand. Okay. Now oh, let's, sorry, let's go back. Let's build, hmm, right here. So now we'll let's see it in action. So slow. Okay, now we're just going to run it once. So you'll see it searching the rows of the Google Sheet. So go over to the Google Sheet, you'll see, oh, okay, it's empty. So let's process this first. Now we'll take this keyword, send it through the Make AI agent, which has, you know, like bring up my bot. It's going to have those different, those different tools, remember? Uh, first one was, uh, what was it? Research keyword. Second one was look at the writing guide. And then after that was to write the blog post. So it's, it's, it's like thinking, what the heck do I need from, you know, based on the prompt? Yeah. So, okay. It's going to take in the keyword, send it through the research, research it through perplexity, output it back to the AI agent. Okay. Then now I need to like, I'm going to write the blog post, right? So I'm going to refer to the writing guide, so refer to the writing guide, send back the writing guide to the AI agent. Then now AI agent will think, okay, yeah, I have all the information I need. Now I need to write the blog post. So then I'm going to like look at the blog post uh, tool and then yeah, write the blog post. So after that is done, it's going to output the whole blog post and then send it over to the Google Sheets like that. Done. So now if you see the output, it, where is it? Oh, sorry. It's, it's updated. The output is here. The blog post is here. And the response, you see, I have the whole entire blog post. Done. You go back to the blog content calendar, you'll see it right here. Right, it's, it's, it uh, outputted it as Markdown. So I would say pretty decent. Yep. So that's how the workflow works in, how AI agent workflow works in Make. As of now, it's still in beta. So there's always going to be room for changes. So I guess my closing thoughts is it's all right, you know, but I would I would have liked it if it was a little bit more intuitive like any end. You know, not, not like, I, I get the whole idea that it's a little bit more flexible like this because you can actually you know, customize the different tools itself rather than just having like one specific action. That's, that's great and all, but maybe if they would like to make it a little bit more, um, find a better way to like organize the different tools and a little bit more simple and intuitive for people, then I guess that would be better. Okay. So I guess that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.